Hello fellow stalkers, with this video I will start a new series that I wanted to make for a long time already. This will be done in collaboration with Pripyat Hawks, you should check out their socials, links in the description. As the title implies, this will be about cosplaying as a character from our favorite franchise. What I am planning to do is to help everyone who is new to cosplay or stalker in general to find the best props to use while cosplaying, making fan films and even playing airsoft. Oh, and there will be some tips and tricks at the end of the video. Today's topic will be gas masks. Before starting, I want to point out a few things. The prices that you will see on the screen for each gas mask is either my approximation, without the shipping of course, or how much I paid for my gas mask and how much they are worth in my opinion. Secondly, in this video I will avoid as much as possible the real life practicability of these gas masks we are talking about reenactment, not surviving mustard gas attacks. Enough talking, let's dive into it. The GP4 kit fits perfectly in the context. Even though you never find it in the game, it appears in a lot of the official artwork. The most obvious is on the clear sky CD artwork. In some pictures, it can be seen with an added voice diaphragm on the side. Here I have two versions of it. The Romanian and the Soviet one, both costed around 15 to 20 dollars, the Romanian one came with the bag and filter, and for the Soviet one I got only the filter. These are very easy to clean and take care of. The biggest downside is that they are not very comfortable and the lenses are fogging as hell. I would use these ones for a rookie costume since it's a very basic face piece. If you live in Eastern Europe or a former Soviet Union country, you can find this mask very easily at flea markets or military surplus stores and of course eBay. If you want to use something that is actually in the game, the easiest one is to buy the Soviet PBF kit. It is worn by most of the in-game NPCs. The only thing is that the version found in the official games is highly modified. Some have 40mm filters added and others have bigger lenses, almost as a visor. You have two options at this point. You can get a normal PBF kit, which will cost you from $25 to $50. I got mine for $20 with filters and a bag. The second option is to 3D print one of these. Unfortunately, I don't know the cost for these printed masks. This mask would look great for a more experienced stalker of every faction, and if you get a black one, then monolith is the way to go. The PBF mask is very easy to wear and it is extremely comfortable, but it is a pain in the ass to clean it and to replace the filters. Oh, and by the way, they might contain asbestos. Buying a 3D printed one might make your life easier, but I still would go with the real deal. It is usually accessible on eBay or in the flea markets in the ex-Soviet countries. It is the most obvious, the AK-47 of gas masks. You can find it everywhere, the infamous GP5 kit. Even though this gas mask doesn't officially appear in any of the vanilla games, it is a good start for any collection or cosplay. It is very cheap, I got mine for around $10, it came with the carry bag, the filter that is a big no-no and the anti-fogging lenses. Almost complete and this is everything you need. It is very easy to maintain, easy to wear and won't be a big problem if you damage it. You will find thousands of these. It would perfectly fit for a rookie loaner or bandit outfit. You can find these kits on eBay, Etsy, any surplus stores or flea markets and if you are from the Eastern Europe it is even easier, you might find one in your babushka's attic. Now I'll jump right into the more rare and expensive ones. If you want to get yourself a mask that will fit the exoskeleton look perfectly, you should look for a CT12, SF10 or FM12. They are a bit harder to find and usually the price starts from $50. These masks are extremely comfortable and of a very good quality, also easy to maintain. You can usually find these ones on eBay and of course most likely in the United Kingdom. Do you like the gas mask from the Call of Pripyat artwork? Well, that mask is real, it is an SM90, a rare and expensive Swiss gas mask. The price usually starts at $80 and I do not recommend this for cosplay, because it's not an easy mask to replace. I don't even know where I should tell you to look for one. If you guys find this mask for a decent price, let me know. And the rarest mask you can look for is the one that is usually used by the Mercs. It is an American prototype called XM40. It is a prototype. Enough said. If you want something closer to it, look for an M40, which has almost the same price as the SM90, and it is easier this time for the people living in the United States to find one. 
In general, I'd recommend using masks from the Warsaw Pact, but not the filters. I cannot stress this out enough. I feel like this gas mask fit the best in the zone's atmosphere. You can start with a GP5 or a Polish MUA for a newbie looking outfit, to a Romanian M74 or Czech M10 for a more experienced duty or freedom member, to a PMK or PBF for a veteran monolith. If you are still here, let me give you a few tips and tricks. Here is a simple trick to avoid using suspicious filters. Buy a hose, some of the kits have it included, connect it to your mask and let the hose hang into the bag. Another way to do this, just remove the exhale valve rubber cover and put the filter plug back, so you don't inhale air through your filter. If you take this part from a GP4 and insert it into a GP5, you get yourself a snork mask. If you buy a gas mask from the flea market or surplus store, put them in warm water with some soap, dry it and use silicone spray to keep it in good shape. Avoid as much as possible keeping your mask in the sun. When you don't use it for something, keep your mask in the bag. Do not use gas masks for airsofts, instead you can use this replica mask which is usually around $30 and can be found on eBay, Amazon, AliExpress and many more. Do not use old filters, buy a new one or 3D print a filter that looks like one that contains asbestos. If you want your lenses to not get foggy, use an anti-fogging spray, it is very cheap and easy to find. If you got any questions or if I got something wrong, let me know in the comments. But until then, good hunting stalkers.